Game started. Oh, we got a game. Killer Dog, ooh, from Denmark. Starting out with F4. Well, time for another From Gambit, I guess. See, uh, see how Killer Dog does. So this crazy move G5 is really the main line in the From Gambit. <laughs> the idea, I guess, of uh, dislodging that knight and uh, causing trouble. There is the idea of the uh, check over here. <clears throat> but now it doesn't work because, uh, well, say I push the pawn and the knight moves somewhere. Um, there's still a check and a pawn move and a check take back check but the uh, king can go to uh, d2 so it's no longer a checkmate um, so uh, and uh, uh, the, uh, the pawn seems well defended there so maybe uh, <clears throat> maybe I should evacuate the queen side here how about uh, bishop f5 just uh, Trying to clamp down on e4. Ah, I sacked another pawn there somewhat unintentionally. <clears throat> yeah, I guess I needed to... Um, needed to defend that pawn or push it. I could have pushed on to uh, g4, I guess. Would have been an idea. Anyway, knight uh, to d7 and castle queen side. Let's see if uh, I can take advantage of his uh, maybe somewhat lackluster development. This knight could go to uh, h6 and g4. Maybe drop into some of these holes here. Yeah, so he's supporting, uh, he's going to support uh, e4, and I can't really stop it. Or can I? Pawn there, bishop takes, knight takes, queen takes, and this is not hanging because the knight defends it. Yeah, maybe. And that knight defends it as well. Okay, so he wants to go after my light, dark, my dark squared bishop there. Okay, I'm going to let him take that. I think it's um, maybe a time-wasting move for him. Gets my queen or this pawn out of that pen. And uh, if he doesn't take, I'm going to continue with this plan of knight to h6 to g4 and maybe to uh, e3 there. Check. If he takes, I take with the queen. And uh, this pawn over here is undefended. I have to be a little bit careful of that. Maybe king uh, b8 at some appropriate moment, but I don't want to waste time on that right now. Yeah, okay, so I can move my queen here with the tempo, attacking uh, b2. Maybe putting a little pressure on the um, e pawn, d pawn rather, d pawn. Now I could have considered uh, queen um, c6 as well, putting pressure on the uh, c2 pawn, but I guess he could just play c3, and that's probably a fine, fine move for him. Whereas if he plays b3, I don't know, Server maybe, maybe it creates a few more dark squared holes. He does have a dark squared bishop, it just seems to be on the wrong side of the board right now. On the wrong side of the board.
Let's see, instead of h3 to g4, I could have also I could also consider knight e7. Knight e7 to um, d5. That maybe makes more sense as a route for the knight. A central a central route. Hmm, don't know why he's thinking so long. How long has that been? Yeah, 6.30 to 4.40. That's almost two minutes. Okay, there he goes. <laughs> that, was, that was the move I was expecting. Okay, so knight uh, h6 or knight d7. h6 uh, controls this g4 square. But from g4, uh, yeah, I, I think the cent I like the central route better. Oh, 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 but he can play... Um, <clears throat> he can play c five here. Yeah, I've been a little bit off in my game lately. I'm missing missing moves like that. So C five keeps my knight out of um C four keeps my knight out of D five. Yeah, good move. Okay, so um how about, um, okay, he can push forward to d5 or to c5. Um, and that is okay, I guess. I have a check here. Hmm, 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 hmm. Let's just um, step the bishop back, and I can get to um, <clears throat> the uh, e3 square by playing the knight to um, knight f5 to e3, and that also may get a tempo on the bishop. But I'll probably, when I play knight f5, he will drop the bishop back to um, f2, and maybe I'll throw in this check. Ah, he goes there right away. Okay, back to the square. Um, now I can take on uh, e3 if he doesn't defend it, and I can continue to uh, add pressure with the rook move. I was thinking a little bit about uh, queen uh, <clears throat> b6, but that has the problem that he can push this pawn, and it's a double attack on my queen and my knight. So that would be that would be pretty horrible. Yeah, he can he can play that now. Actually, if he plays, uh, oh, it's not good now. That's right. If he plays e4 now, I can take the check. I was just thinking that e4 threatens uh, the pawn on h. I mean a7 here, as well as the knight. But I can take it, which is good. Okay, so he defends there. Let's um, <clears throat> put my king on b8 now that he's got a threat on uh, a7. Okay, so he castles queenside. Can check. Probably queen over our king there. Not, not doing a whole lot. Let's pile up with the rooks.
It's bishop on this diagonal is looking pretty good right now, so king over is not uh, not really an option, is it? Yeah, so I could just play queen. Uh, <clears throat> so what does he do on queen e4? He can interpose. He's got the queen, the bishop, and the rook all on this square. Yeah. But this allows a discovery, right? So I can play knight here, attacking the queen and the uh, rook simultaneously. Knight here, rook takes is probably good enough. Knight here, pawn takes knight, bishop takes rook, queen takes bishop. Yeah, it's just not good, not that great. So, Ah, this knight harassing the rook. You activate all your pieces, that's what they say. <clears throat> so if he wants to maintain the rook defending the pawn, he has to play rook to um, c3. And then I could play a move like knight to... Uh, now I can still take it with the knight. I can't play that. Hmm. So maybe after the rook moves, maybe I just play queen to e5 and threaten threaten mayhem on the back rank there. Just got to move this knight out of the way and I'll have a nice... Uh... And knight there can threaten the queen. So do I want to move my knight first? Say knight here. Now I can play an, a knight or a queen to um, to e4 there. So queen e4, he can't block with the on this square. But he can block on this square. Okay, that knight can come in here and here. It's all right. Um, knight e4 attacks that knight, that rook, and that bishop. Maybe I'll get rid of this bishop. It's kind of a kind of a linchpin bishop there. Take the um, I can take the uh, rook. Probably should. And um, if he takes back with the knight, and that defends his pawn. If he takes back with the queen, I can take here. He could even take back with the king. Ah, he didn't take back at all. He hit my rook. Um, that's not good, right? I just um, move my uh, bishop back. And he can win the exchange, but um, he could have won the bishop, which would have been more valuable. Yeah, so now I'm at peace up. What do you know? Yeah, it's a good square for the knight. Defends the uh, <clears throat> f-pawn, attacks the queen, and uh, I'm going to come over here with my queen here. Check. 
And um, if he goes to one of the light squares and I have a nice discovery with the knight, I'm sure I can do something with it, although I'm not. Uh... Okay, here is a double check. Yeah, inmate. Check. King has to move. His only move is there, and then there's a checkmate. Okay, well, finally, uh, an interesting game that I won. <laughs> I've been playing checkmate. a lot of bad games recently. Um, but I guess this is worth uploading. I will do a postmortem. I think I, I made some mistakes in the uh, opening play somewhere. I didn't mean to go down two pawns. It's a gambit, so you're supposed to be down one pawn, but not uh, two pawns. Don't think I really had adequate compensation. So I'll check that out in the postmortem, see what I should have done. See you guys later. Bye.